Three simple apps that are free to download for Mac OS. Let's go. All right, so I've made a couple of videos like this before. I'll post them in the description. Long story short, these are just some simple free apps that I use you know, every week maybe. They're not mind-blowing. They're not gonna change. They're not gonna blow your mind. They're not gonna change the way you do things. But they are free and they're simple to use. You can pick up one of them probably in you know, two minutes. You can pick up the other one in about two minutes. And then one of them might take about 15 minutes to pick up, so they're very easy. These are just simple, simple apps that are free that I find some use with, and some people may out there as well. So I just wanted to post them. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you use? You know, a lot of people just don't have the money to spend. You know, I, have, I do pay for some of my apps, and a lot of times those are better, but sometimes you can find some free things that do add value, and that's kind of what I wanted to go through. So I have a series of these videos, but this is just three more that I use every day just to try to help people that are out there. And you know, let me know in, your, in the comments and things of any apps that you have as well. Anyways, let's get into them. I know people want to see them quickly, so let's go. All right, so the first one's called Notebook. And look for the icon. See it right here? It's all these colored little sheets of paper. Look for that. In the, it's in the App Store. You can download it. Um, I already have it open, so if I click out of here, here it is. So once you open up Notebook, you know, you basically have different notebooks that you can start. And I'm going to go ahead, you know, over here, you can go ahead and click the plus symbol. And you can click that, and it's going to create a new notebook for you. And it's going to give you these kind of weird, like, patterns and stuff, which you can change up if you want. Um, you know, but you can go ahead and name the notebook. Let me go back. So you just click here, and you name it. Let's just say Craig's Notes. And you can have that there. So that'll name the notebook. But now you have different notebooks for different things. You can lock these notebooks, which is kind of a cool feature if you don't want someone snooping around like a diary or something. But once you open up a notebook, you know, it just starts with a little quote here. But you can go ahead and then add things to this. So if you go up to here, you go up to File, you can go to New, and you can do a text card, audio card, photo card, checklist card, file card. I'll go through them really quickly. So if you click on text card, it's exactly what you think it is. You know, you can go ahead and just type in whatever you want, and you can basically highlight text in here. So you can create like notes and things like that, you know, just that you want to save. The cool thing is, is you can also create lists if you want with bullet points. You can create checklists. You can also put in, um, you know, if you click this, you can put in sounds. Hello, this is just a test. Just like that. So things like that will definitely help out, and then it'll actually play back if you click on it, which... Um, Hello, this is just a test. There you go. Sorry. As I'm recording this, I'm probably screwing up things, so <laughs> I'm doing a screen capture at the same time. But anyways, so this is basically what you call, you know, just a basic notepad, and you can go ahead and do various stuff with this. But that's not the beauty of it. So if you go back up here to file, so actually, let's click out. Let's go click on this little check mark, and it adds like a little card in here. So this is, again, if you go back, this is inside of my notebook. I have this card, and that's the one I just created. Let's create another card inside my notebook. You go to File, you go to New, you go to Audio Card, and in here, the same thing. This is going to be something. It's just going to start recording like what I'm doing right now. You can see the voice, and then I can click Stop. It's going to record what I just said. It says six seconds, and I can go ahead and save it. And now that recording will be in there. So if you want to just jot down notes and stuff inside your notebook, you can do that without actually typing. You can just, when I say jot, I mean speak down notes. And then it can go ahead and create those little you know, things you think of in the spur of the moment. If you go up to File again, um, and you go New, you can do Photo Card. And that basically just means if you, take, if you go like this, you can just go into, let me see here, Downloads. Um, let me pick a, actually, let me pick a, a, a JPEG that I had here. And you can just drop in a bunch of different photos into this. So you can save different photos and then you can give them titles and stuff. So it's something very easy, obviously, if you want to save a photo, like you have an idea from Pinterest or something, you can do that as well. But again, that saves it inside of your little notebook. So you have all these different things piling up. If you go back up to File, New, you can go to Checklist Card, and this is kind of cool. So you can go, let's say you want to do milk, you know, cheese ham, whatever you want. You can create a list. The good thing is down here, you can actually set, way down here, you can set like an alarm for it to remind you. Let's say it's a shopping list or something. So you can go ahead and do that. And you can also, you know, change the colors of the screen just so, you know, it looks nicer to you. Anyways, you can save that as your checklist. Now you have four things in here. And then the final thing you can actually save in here is going to be new file card. And that's going to be basically, you can drop and drop, drop different files in here, any type of file that you want, like just if you want to collaborate different files together for a project or something, it'll save those into a file, you know, file format for you as well. I didn't save anything in there, so it didn't add the card. But that's really all this does, is I, that's the only reason I use it, is you basically can create these little idea cards and uh, for different projects, let's say, let's say you have a project you want to create or a video you want to create or something like that, or you have a work one or you have a home one or a shopping one, and you create them, you save them, 
and that's all you want to do with this. So it's really just a notebook application free to use. All right, so the next two are very quick. The next one's called Copy Clip. You can see the icon right here. You can get it from the, the store as well, the App Store. If you click on it, it creates like a little icon up here. It looks like a little paper clip up here. Anyways, what you want to do, I mean, really all this does is I always have links that I go to. Let's just say I go to, um, you know, you, you name it. Let's say you went to CNN.com. But let's say you want to save certain things, certain links that you come across. Um, you go ahead and just hit Control C. I copied that. And let's say, let's say open up something else. But as soon as you copy something, all it does is it puts it over here. Now see how CNN has been copied to this clip? So let's do this again. So let's go to something like ESPN.com. So if you go into here and I go ahead and just hit Command C, I'm going to copy that. Let's just get out of this before I get a strike on my account. <laughs> and then basically, if you go back here, you know, it's added here. So then if I want to go back, I can go ahead and just click on any of these things again. It can be text even that you actually just highlight, and I'll show you that in a second. But if I just click on this again, um, and then I hit, you know, I go back here, and I hit Control V, you know, it's going to basically copy what was in there and, and then I can paste it. So you can basically paste things and copy things really easily. So my list usually grows really far and then including text. Like let's say you're doing a document and you have a bunch of text you want to copy from like a website or something. Um, you can do that and then you can come back and copy it later. So if you, let's just say you have uh, like this text here, I want to go ahead and see down here. So let me go ahead and hit control C. Um, I copied it. So if I go up here, there it is. So now I can go back into, like I can copy something else and then basically come back and hit that again and I can put that into something like notes or something. If I bring up notes, go like this, control V, and there it is. It just actually put it in there. So if you're switching back and forth between a lot of links, a lot of text, a lot of whatever, it just puts it up here so you can actually go back and recopy it really quickly and then paste it in somewhere. And then once you're done, you can clear everything right there clear and it clears everything out of there. So that's really all there is to that. All right, and the third one's gonna take me literally 30 seconds to go through, it's called Cooking Timer. Looks like this, you can get it in the App Store, go ahead and click on it. All it is is a timer you can set up. If I click on it, you can see here, it's gonna just, you know, gonna go ahead and count for you, you can pause it. It's got three things at once you can do. It's got a settings here where you can go ahead and just set a, like a one minute timer, click this, it's gonna count down for you. So, but it has three different things you can do at once. I mean, really all it does besides this is, you know, allows you to change the colors and stuff. It's just a free, free timer. Um, I found it pretty easy to use. You can do three things at once. Um, you can either count up or count down. Again, no cost. So that's all it does. Just wanted to show people that's the timer I use just because it's no frills. I don't have to worry about anything. And it's super quick to just install and forget about it. All right, so what did you think? Again, post more comments. If you have some good free apps, I'll make a video on it. These are not going to be mind changing or they're not going to change the way you do, you know, you go about your life or anything like that. They're just really simple. What I want to do is just show people, again, free stuff that's out that you can download. Hey, maybe I like that. I'll go ahead and download it. Um, hope everyone's staying safe with the virus going around. I was able to finally, with the weather changing in Chicago, I'm in northern Chicago, um, I was actually able to go to the beach up here, and there's a lot of cool beaches. I'll put some pictures up right here as I'm talking. You can maybe see them right now. And uh, that's actually northern Chicago, so pretty interesting. Now, I was a little too afraid to go on the beach, so I stayed up on the bluff, just kind of like taking in the sun and the breeze and things. But in a couple weeks, hopefully, we'll get out there. Everyone stay safe. Um, subscribe to my channel. I make videos on all types of things, but a lot of Apple products, tons of Apple stuff, PC, computers, technology. And then I do some finance and travel, which I'm kind of you know taking a break from for a little while until everything changes there. Anyways, if you guys can help me out and subscribe, it's going to really, really help my channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.